Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Skylander Spyro's Adventure. I'm your host with the mouse, Chris about 1988, saying how do you all do? Last time, we managed to progress through the first level and learn some story. So now, we're gonna get straight back into this. Now, which Skylander am I gonna use this time? Well... I think I'm gonna use this one! Skylander Stan! Stealth Elf! Talk to Flynn. Okay, so I think before we talk to Flynn, let's have a little look around. Now as you can see, the pots here drop off money. Every time you come to the hub world, you can... Go see Flynn. We don't have time to waste. Screw you, I'm an LP here. I got time to waste all the time. <laughs> <laughs> now, you need to know this layout for later, because I will say this, by the time you finish this game, you will know this layout like the back of your... Oh. Hey, you're a Skylander, right? Hi, Quigley. Oh, it was so cool the way you saved my family. I want to be just like you when I grow well, up. Well, good luck with that. You gain powers and then uh, we'll see. I've heard you can actually disappear. Please show me how to do it. Yeah, well, I might as well show off Stealth Elf. <laughs> if you use the B attack, well, this is the upgraded version of it. Because I've upgraded Stealth Elf quite a bit. That scarecrow's like a distraction for stuff. Ah, I should probably show this off. This is what I call the treasure tower. As you can see, on each block there is an element of a Skylander. What you need to do is switch between the elements and bash the block. So in this case, we need to use a magic, then a water, then a tech. Once you do, you get a prize. If you can complete all the treasure ones, then you get yourself a special prize. But we'll come to that later. We can't go anywhere else, I don't think. Uh, have a look. Yeah, we can't go over there at all. But we will get over there after the level after this. So let's talk to Flynn, and let's get going. Yeah, I'm sure Callie will be thrilled to meet me. And who can blame her, huh? So, uh, you ready to shove off, you big... Sky... what's it? Skylander! Seriously, he'll get it memorized this time. Yep, I'll have this Callie eaten out of the palm of my hand in no time. And who can blame her? I mean, look at me! Boom! You know, with the way Flynn says that, it's like he's a bomb. You see how I was able to hit that? That takes years of practice and skill. <laughs> I know, amazing, right? <laughs> well, you can thank me later. Oh yeah, what would you do if someone else did it first before you, you knucklehead? Hmm. That would be interesting. Okay. So many sheep. So many sheep. Oh, hi, little sheep. No, little sheepy! <laughs> sheep can't fly! So it's on to chapter two, the perilous pastures. Okay, let's go, stealth elf. Elf. So, hey, I think we should find this Callie as soon as possible. It's just not fair to deny the girl the pleasure of meeting her. Yeah. I'll scout from overhead. Meanwhile, you see if you can find her on the ground. You know, despite your idiocy, that actually was a decent plan. Okay, so while he flies off, we're gonna take the ground level, the harder routes. But before anything... Different areas of Skylands have different elemental energies. When you switch to using Skylanders of the same element in that area, they will have extra power and reap extra rewards. Basically, what that means is if we take a step forward a little bit more... Skylanders of the tech element are stronger in this zone. So as I mentioned, if you use a tech a Skylander at this point in time, if you defeat an enemy, you'll get more you experience. Oh, uh, you know what, I think, uh, I think it's better if I actually use a tech Skylander. So stealth elf out, and... Skylander Descend! <laughs> Boomer! <laughs> I should probably mention some names as I'm going through this. Um, Lily, for Stealth Elf, was named by um, my friend Jess, so kudos to you there, Jess. And Boomer was mentioned by my friend Matt. Well, Boomer's his name here. Okay, so as I was trying to say, um, when you're, um, using a tech, uh, Skylander at this point, it- Uh-oh, oh, first of all, the quick enemy gap. We got Chompy Pods. If you destroy them, Chompies will stop spawning. Perfect for level- level grinding. And we have Drow Spearman. Watch out for the pointy end! If you don't know what you're- Okay, now as you can clearly see here, if you can, take a look when I attack. 
Do you see the small nine that's out when I use the dynamite with Boomer? And like the six there. That is the elemental boost. If you're in an area where the Skylander has a type advantage, like here it's a tech, for example, up there in the corner, they will get extra attack and extra experience, which helps you to level up just like that. Uh, I think there's something around the other corner. Go away, sheep. I don't want to attack you. You're innocent and you're cute. We can't attack the sheep. Hugo would, uh, Hugo would. Boom! Oh, wow! <laughs> I can't believe I did that. <laughs> okay, so as, you, so as I mentioned, um, it's not just tech that has this. Every area has their own type of, uh, um, type of thing. So it's just a matter of making sure you have a Skylander of one of each element, and you can get extra experience and such for them all. And we get a cowboy hat for this one. Yeehaw! Uh, no! Boomer does not belong with a cowboy hat. It's more of a gun thing than anything else. Nope! <laughs> That's one way to garden. <laughs> hey, I just use dynamite! That blows up a sunflower! Okay, guys, uh, I- once again, I do a Oh, this is gonna be a long- Oh! Uh, oh yes, I thought there was something over here. Grab this chest! For your first one of the level! Give me the moolah! Give me! With all that money, Boomer can buy the latest dynamite. <laughs> I love Boomer. Now, I'm sorry guys that I didn't have the card for this. Uh, Boomer is a pre-owned Skylander. So, I don't have the thing, so uh, you have to make do with an annotation when it gets up. If you're watching this as soon as this goes up, uh, just pay attention for the annotation if you need a quick refresh. Okay, let's go back up here. You know what? If we're gonna go down to that lower level, um... Are we gonna... Hmm... I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think. Sorry, uh... Yeah, sorry, just consulting my notes. Just making sure I'm going the right way. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, this is not the right way, but this is just a dead-end route for a little bit of experience, a little bit of health, and a little bit of money, if you get lucky. So let's blow stuff up! I love blowing things up. Boom! Okay, so I should criticize a little bit about Boomer. Boomer is surprisingly one of the Skylanders that most people don't like the most, surprisingly. They say he's slow, he's not very he's not very strong, but no, well, I like them all. Personally, I couldn't really say what my favorite of the Skylanders is, so just don't ask me. Okay, so there is something else this way. Now, you can take that long drop of coins to actually get it, but I'm not going to do that. It's not worth the money. None of this stuff. Wait a minute. Come on! <laughs> Goblin! Okay, so if we go down here, we get... Our soul gem for the level, Stump Smash! We get waterlogged. With this ability, uh, you know what, we'll view him first. Skylander Descend! Walking Bark of the Forest! Stump Smash! <laughs> Gotta love him. Okay, so I should mention what Stump Smash's thing there does. What happens is, if you have Stump Smash and you get that ability, um, what happens is Stump Smash can rest in water and it can recover some hit points. Meaning, it's an excellent way to keep your Stump Smash live and kicking. Though, of course, it only works in levels where there's water, so... Obviously, in the middle of a volcano, you're going to struggle. <laughs> yeah, but then again, he's with nature. You can use the portal of power to change Skylanders at any time. We already know that, but I'm gonna stick with Boomer just for a little longer. Don't worry, I'll reveal the third name in a minute. Get some money, because of course every little helps. No, 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 can't use that, can't use that. Let's go here. Uh, let's do nothing over there. To totally your skylanders of the magic of stronger. Uh, so something to talk about. Uh, Oh yeah, oh, now you see here we got magic. So if you swap Skylanders and used a magic element like Spyro, then you would be happy to get extra experience and money here too. And there's our story scroll. No difficulty found. A note from Hugo says, 
Sheep are among the most feared creatures in Skylab. What? Those Mabu having fallen asleep while counting large herds of sheep often discover their belongings missing when they wake up. When questioned, of course, the sheep never admit to having taken anything. Well, that would be because the fact that sheep can't talk! Honestly, I think he was at the cheese again. Oh, okay, so to get the key to progress through this part, you gotta push the turtle here. Then you gotta push him back to cause the- uh-oh, ambush! No, 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 not just to cause an ambush. Well, let's clear these guys out. Now, you, I can see what the problem with Boomer is. Unless you use the B attack, it's gonna be quite difficult to hit enemies with the more powerful dynamite strike. Okay, so, let's see. We'll go this way. I love Boomer! Ah, sheep's attacking! Go away! The sheep don't- oh. Now, here's an important factor for you all. Take it away. Know that you don't have to do this all alone, Portal Master. A friend is most welcome to join you on your quest and control their own Skylander. So as you rightfully heard there from the beloved Eon, that this game is a two-player. And it can be a co-op as well as a battle mode. See, during the co-op mode, what happens is, between you, you have the three lives. And you can use any Skylander and such, but you have to have your own controller as well. Okay, so we go over here, grab that. There's Boomer hogging all the treasure chests. Greedy goblin. <laughs> now we get to do some fun parts. Oh yeah, you know what? Then we'll switch, because we need a water one. Skylander Descent! Crab Hammer! Oh wait, no, not Crab Hammer. That's his name on this. His real name is Slam Bam. Okay, so first let's go over. Now as you can see, Crab Hammer... Oh, so, sorry. Slam Bam is completely a new one, so you're seeing a fresh Skylander being used by me for- Was he riding that club like a- The water element are stronger in this Was he riding that club like a broomstick? Uh, it's a bit early for Halloween. <laughs> it's December! Maybe he's late for- Ah, now come some puzzles. Now, in order to grab the, uh, the, fi the final chest and the final hat in this level, you need to work your way through both these little small sets of puzzles. Now, they are quite tricky, but I'll show you the way to do them, or at least my way of doing them. First, push this block onto the teleporter, then move these two out the way, like this. Next, go around the other side and do exactly the same thing. Push that one over here. Then we push this one down. Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to get used to slant, uh, do his attacks. As you can guess, the club is his main weapon. Okay, so after you take the teleporter, then you get warped into this situation. Now we need to create a route to get up there. Or at least to that teleporter here. So just follow this little route here. Um... Uh... Push this one down. Left. Yeah, there we go. That's right. Then push this one up, then this one up. But before we take that teleporter, push these, push this one back, then take the teleporter, and you walk up here to where your chest is. This is your third chest of the level, and this completes your treasure list. Or does it? Because we're not done in this part, we still got the hat to grab, because behind Elliot of Element Gate. So if you walk down here and gently walk across the diagonal parts like this, you get the- Oh shoot, I messed that up! Okay, push that back. Now we do the route. Now I don't know if there's any e other easier routes to grab the hat, but this is the only route I know. If you walk across the diagonal, you can walk gently across onto the teleporter, and grab your second hat of the level. Open! Yay, happy birthday! Happy birthday to me! Happy birthday! No, 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 it's not my birthday. My birthday's not till March. There you go, hint everybody. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, I know it! He is riding that thing like a broom! Skylanders of the magic element are stronger in this zone. So now we're up to magic, okay? Oh, wait, we're back in this path, so of course we will go magic. Yeah. Alright, so we push the turtle yeah. over here. Yeah. Sorry about this, guys. I'm just double-checking my notes for a second. 
because I think there's one thing I should mention. Oh yes, I should mention that. Um, uh, the version I'm playing is the Wii version, so I should. Pop, uh... Skylanders of the life. Oh, life. Are stronger in you know what? Though. Sorry, Crab Hammer, but this is where we bid you adieu. Skylander, descend! Now you see me. Now you don't. Let's go, Lily. Oh, stealth elf. Oh, hi, Flynn. Hey, I found Callie, and uh, she's not half bad. Oh yeah, and she's been captured by a bunch of evil drones. We gotta save her so she can get on with more important things. Like thanking me. Boom! You know, that's gonna get really annoying. Over there, that cannon looks like it could be useful. Hmm, how? I'll bet if you climb inside the turret, you can shoot the locks on the gate. Who puts it? Ah, there's Callie. Now I should probably mention, um, one thing I should mention, that the birthday hat that you saw there, um, that's, that's a version exclusive hat. You see, that hat is different depending on which of the four versions you play. If you're playing this on the PC or the Mac, then you can get a bowler hat in that one. Um, uh, if you're playing on the Xbox 360, you get a cowboy hat in that one. Um, if you get, if you're playing the PS3, you get the straw hat, and the Wii, you get the Ninta you get the birthday hat. They're exactly the same stats; they just look different. And oh shoot, we can't go back. Shoot! Oh, that means I'm gonna have to come back for the treasure. Yeah, you'll you'll see why I say I wanted to come back in a second. And there's a reason why I have Lily, or better yet, any uh, life Skylander. You will need one in order to get the legendary treasure here, and you'll see why. And get, get in the point! Shoot all four locks! Well, this should be easy. If, if my controller will let me! Shoot it down! And there we go! Alright, Lily, let's go. Ah, now you see here, there's the legendary treasure. But how can we get to it? Well, I'll show you that in just a second. But first, let's, uh, let's save Callie. Hi. Wait, you're a... Skylander, aren't you? This is unbelievable! I was just rescued by a real Skylander. Congratulations. <clears throat> and, uh, me? I helped. Flynn <laughs> the Balloonist. Wait a minute! That's me Wait, at your couldn't you have just done that from the beginning? Charming. Yes, yes, I know. <sighs> Must be pretty overwhelming for you to finally meet the best pilot in all of Skyland. So far, the only. You know, I didn't need any help back there. I had them right where I wanted them. <laughs> sure you did. Yeah, I think that's something I agree. Whatever. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> well, yes, ma'am. What the? You are uh, did you, welcome. Did you, did, the, did you see that? Uh, <laughs> well, we got that one done. But I don't think Hugo's going to be happy with our welcoming home present. At least that's what I think. Yay, go, little sheepy! It oh no, don't go to Hugo, he'll flip. Back! Back, you vile beasts! <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Hugo, they're just sheep. That is where you are wrong, my dear Callie. These creatures may appear to be friendly, cuddly piles of fluff. Yes. But turn your back on them and they turn into wretched lint balls with beady little eyes staring at your every move. I will never look at a sheep Sorry again. Sorry about the lint balls, Hugo, but we were able to rescue Callie. Actually, it was the Skylander who rescued... Yep, thank you. Oh, oh yeah, oh, wait, what? Oh, oh, Ahem, where do I get the praise? <laughs> I'm the praise. standard it's portal master here. Without me, they'd be stuck. But embarrassing. Hey! Could we please get on to the important things? Sorry. While you were all away, I found the old blueprints for the Core of Light. The ancients yes. used them when they first built it. Wait a second. I thought you said you built the Core of Light. Well, yes and no. Yes, I said that I did, but no, I really didn't. <laughs> The old core was used to repel the forces of darkness. If we can rebuild <coughs> a new core of light, it should stop Chaos from his wicked plan to rule Skylands. And then we can focus on getting rid of those villainous sheep. 
They heard him. <laughs> the Barb viewer will help us find the parts we need to rebuild the core, but this cursed overgrown Bramble is blocking it off. Bramble. Could you assist us? Bramble. Clearing the Bramble could give us a clue to no. the whereabouts of the eternal sources we need. No. Oh, am I kidding? This is more happier. I get to destroy Brambles. Revenge for Donkey Kong. Hmm. Yeah, I'll do that later. Let's destroy Brambles. Take this, you overgrown plants. Out of my way. I've got vengeance. <laughs> I've waited all months for this. Uh, what the? Oh, there's one. What the? <laughs> you did it! And wow! Not only will that far viewer help us see distant lands, but it also functions as a sheep launching device. It's marvelous! Typical. Here, I'll show you how to use this thing. It's pretty much a telescope, but a lot more magical. This one's a little rusty, but it should be able to show us exactly where we need to go next. That's the magic part. Okay. Yes! I see it right now. The very first eternal source we need. Air. Air? The core of light was powered by all the eternal sources. If we can acquire that air source, we so will that be basically well means to we need to gather it. all eight. It's the stormy stronghold. The evil dro must have recovered the eternal air source, but something has gone wrong. Huh? The whole place is being blown apart. A massive storm. My balloon's gonna need something. Something that will push me through the storm. You mean like a propeller? <laughs> no, no. Nothing like that. <laughs> oh, you are so cute when you're flirting with me. Oh, I got it. We need some kind of a propeller. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> now, Cal... <clears throat> Everyone knows the Dro patrol the Sky Schooner docks. Their elite airship will have the propeller we need. Right. I'll tell you what, Brain Trust. You get back to your balloon. I'll mark it on the map with a big crayon. <laughs> hey, I like crayons. Nothing wrong this with them. This is a very important mission. Ah. Go find Flynn when you're ready to depart. Now we're going to find out what Callie provides. Now here's an important hey, listen, thing. If you're looking for adventure, I'm your girl. But adventure takes a lot of preparation. If you or any of your Skylander friends need some training before heading out, I might have some challenges that will do the trick. Come and see me. Now, basically, what that means is the fact that you can do her missions, and for every Skylander, you get um, an extra challenge. But before anything else, I'm gonna go back to Perilous Pastures, and now I'm gonna blitz through the level to get to the point to where we need to use the le to get the legendary treasure. You will need a life Skylander, so I'll see you at the point where we need. Know that you don't have to do this all alone. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. Okay. Now, you may remember this part here. Now, with a live Skylander, head to this left corner to create a hidden route. Then, cross it with... You can use any Skylander at this point. You just need the life to activate it. This takes you to the point, to the area with the cannon. So you don't need this area to unlock... Bye-bye, Sheepy! Sorry, I had to do that. <gasps> Sheepy appeared. And it takes you right down here for the legendary treasure. Nice and easy once you find it. I have to admit, it took me a strategy guide to find that. Which is what I'm using for my notes. Now jump in the ca- BOOM! <laughs> Who needs a Skylander when you have a cannon blast? Okay. So, let's destroy all the locks again and just finish this level like normal. There we go. Come on, Lilith, let's go. Grab a little experience and money along the way. And there we go! Wait. You're a... Yes, I'm an lp -er. And there we go! You get three stars, you get a nice little boom from the uh, bloody Flynn. Okay, so without taking care of... Um... I'm going to record the episode here, so tune in next time when we're going to try and grab ourselves a propeller. Sorry, Flynn. Heh <laughs> heh where we're going to grab the propeller to propel us to get to the first eternal source. Will we be able to grab the propeller and push our way through? Or will it be a blow Talk or will it be Flynn. a major blow to our quest? Oh, you can tell I came up with that on the spot. <laughs> you have to tune in next time to find out the answer. This is Cruiser Brown 1988 signing off a Let's Play Skylanders Spyro's Adventure.
Catch you all later! Woohoo! Sing that tune.